right, that's the bladder color on Nebula. Um, you see I have all of my paint colors ready. I'm going to start with the lightest part first. I'm going to try to tell myself and keep track of where is the lightest part. You can see I have two different paint brushes. As soon as you lay it down, you want to get water and you want to soften um, the water spots. So you want to soften um, the color that you lay down. You're only really going to use the water to soften it when it's in the middle, okay? So I'm working on the middle and I'm softening um, the edges. I'm adding a little more, getting just water, and I'm softening um, where I just added the color. So what you're working with is a gradation with your color. As soon as you put down pigment, um, you're going to soften some of the harder areas, but you do want to go, you want to blend into your, your dark color into the color before and your, color, your lighter color into your darker color. So you're trying to make this transition. And remember that you're always um, trying to get to that dark edge, but not have an outline. So you're trying to work fast, and if you notice, I'm just dabbing with my paintbrush. Don't try to do um, brush strokes. It doesn't work if you dab it. It allows the water to sort of move. Um, if you notice, I'm not using a lot of water, okay? If you're using too much water, it's too, um, there's no control because there's too much water and it all blends together. So it's that happy medium of using water but not too much water and not too little water that's part of practice and you'll figure it out you can see I'm pulling the red into the purple and into the yellow this is gonna take a little bit of a time and it's a back and a forth um, but you're really trying to encapsulate this nebula in this um, dark space right um, so you just dab 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 and if you know it there's a crease like right there, I put that um, red down. I'm going to have to soften it with a little bit of water um, or add in. See, I added the purple. It's still not enough. There, there's the water right there. And you always want to pull in the black so that there's not an outline. So I'm going to speed this up really soon, but I, I need you to just um, be patient with yourself. This takes some practice to be able to get it um, to be proficient at this and nothing ever turns out the way you expect it. You have to loosen up and kind of go with the flow. Um, so the rules kind of that need to happen is controlling the water and controlling the color, going back and forth so they sort of blend together. Um, not having an outline and really watching your water. So in that space, it was a pretty good, pretty good transition. I need to work on the top and bottom, but um, here's the finished example for you to see um, the transitions from side to side, um, and then wherever your light source is, you really have to pay attention to that, okay? Remember, everything does look better when you add the white stars. So again, just be patient with yourself and have some fun. And now I'm gonna speed this up and play some music.
blocks Germaline, just some fact that seen my love, my love, love, love Please don't go, I love you so My love, please